at the end of the day ai is all about extracting intelligence from your content in this video i am going to show you how you can interact or chat with your youtube videos by using embed chain embed chain is way more than just chatting with your content but in order to get started i believe that this is the best example because once you get the hang of how easy and how simple it is to use embed chain to do retrieval augmented generation with your various modalities of content it becomes so much easy to build a lot of powerful applications with the help of embed chain plus you can use gui tools like streamlit before i show you the code as how exactly to do that let me give you a very quick overview of embed chain embed chain is an open source framework for personalizing llm responses it makes it really easy to create and deploy personalized ai apps at its core embed chain follows the design principle of being conventional but configurable to serve both software engineers and machine learning engineers embed chain streamlines the creation of personalized llm applications offering a seamless process for managing various types of unstructured data one of the things which i really like about embed chain is that it does a lot of heavy lifting it efficiently segments data into manageable chunks generates relevant embeddings and stores them in a vector database for optimized retrieval with a suite of diverse apis it enables users to extract contextual information find precise answers or engage in interactive chat conversation all tailored to their own data so that is what embed chain does now let me take you to the code where we will be talking to a youtube video i have just grabbed one video from my channel this one so i will be i have just got a uh, url by just clicking on its three dots here and then grabbing this url and this is the url which we are going to use in this embed chain okay so let me take you to my code on my local system this is my vs code environment where i have already written this code before you run this code these are the prerequisites you need to install you need to install openai because we'll be using openai key with it you can use gemini's api key or even open source api keys but i have seen that openai works best when it comes to embed chain then we need to install embed chain and then you would you would need youtube transcript api you would need pytube so make sure that you install it and this is by the way my windows uh, local system then i am importing this then you would need to set your open api key which you need to buy from platform.openai uh, and then set it with the export command in your environment so provided that you have set it with uh, in within your environment then simply just obtain it from your environment and then assign it to openai and this is my own videos url you can replace it with any other url and then i'm just defining this function embed chain bot and um, there i we are just specifying the gpt4 turbo temperature i used normally set it to 0.7 to make it a bit more creative you can just adjust it if you want the responses to be exact all the time just set it to zero if you want the temperature to be more random more creative then just bump it up to closer to one here i'm specifying vector db chroma and then provider is open a and you can of course change it as per your requirement you can you can go to embed change documentation and if you want you can just uh, use something else but I will be just creating this chroma on my uh, local system so this is a path where you can create it and we will be passing it and then it is using this api key this is a simple uh, embed chain call for the graphical user interface we are using streamlit so just specify this title and caption of your choice then create the db path and then call that embed chain underscore bo bot with this path and key and then add this video url and data type to that app and then just give a uh, user this prompt back and you can again prompt uh, the user to ask some question and then start the chatbot so let's run it 
uh, on my local system and now let me show you it in the browser so let me quickly open my browser and take you there should it take too long at the first it just takes a bit of a time but then it um, comes back so let me show you once i run it you can just run it with um, streamlit and then it is as you can see it is running on my local system there you go the first time when i have run it it is simply uh, inserting patches in chroma db and you would run it simply by saying python space your program name and you can see that it is already running on my system and you can access it on localhost 8501 this is the port where it is running and let me take you to my browser now just hang on let me move on to my browser there you go so this is my youtube video and let me make it a bit bigger so that you would be able to see what is written here there you go so this is what we gave it and interact this is also what we gave it and then it added this url to knowledge base you can omit this if you want and it has analyzed that video and have returned us the response back so now let me change this back and i will rerun it just to show you so for that let me maybe grab another url maybe i'll just grab this one i'll just go click on share and then copy this i will go back to my vs code and in that vs code let me give the url i'll just replace the url of course you can make it better you can ask user to input it but we are just testing it out for our own sake and then i'll come back and i will just ask it where is the prompt you can ask the youtube video whatever you want and then here you see that this is the caption and title which it gave us okay so let's run it or if you want you can just ask it what is the title of this youtube video and let me maybe cancel this in the bottom section by control c and i'll rerun it for you so as soon as i press control c it stopped and this is how you run it you just run streamlit run youtube chat.py and then press enter let's wait for it it will chunk it it will put the batch inside it and then it is going to open it again on my browser so let me take you to my browser quickly this is the browser it is working and at the top you can see it is running and it is still running it takes a bit of a time so let's wait for it. so it has added that new video to the knowledge base it is now running the prompt and there you go and it says that it says the title of youtube video could be unlocking high capacity llms on limited hardware with air llm so it couldn't really do it um, it is not the fault of embed chain this is our uh, open ace model so now let me again change it and ask it maybe content of it if it is unable to do the title maybe we didn't pass some metadata that is why so i'll go back to my vs code and I, instead of this i'll just say describe the youtube video see control c again and then i will rerun it and it is going to open it in my browser so let's wait for it to open it it is running again and it has opened it in my browser so let me take you back to my browser let's wait for it to come back and you can set a lot of settings and stuff like that you can even record a screencast so let me check what is happening here this time when i re-ran it it has run which is good and it was able to uh, analyze the video so it seems that we need to pass the whole um, video because we don't pass metadata with it but still good enough i guess 
so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it i will drop the code in my blog and I, i'll put the link in video's description play around with it let me know what do you think by the way embed chain is really really good for a lot of other purposes and in the coming days i'll be creating more video on it thanks for watching i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching